Hello and welcome to another Goal from the Soup. Today I'm going to be demonstrating T. Kinter. Uh, this is you written in Python. You use it with Python's GUI builder. If you are familiar with Zenity, which is a GUI builder for Bash, then that's basically what T. Kinter is. Uh, it is for simple stuff. So, um, buttons, labels, entry, text entry box, radio buttons, it can do all that. Uh, it looks like it's really designed for simple stuff. Uh, so, if you need to do maybe a GUI front end to a, a script you wrote, then it would be a good little tool to use. Now, it is not for people who want to build a desktop environment, a 3D game, or any of that sort of stuff. It's just a simple little GUI. And I'm just going to play around with it because I've been uh, learning Python. This has been an interesting thing to toy with. Uh, I've made an example here. Uh, so, if I run that, here we have this is a label, and I can change it to something else. Gun change label blah 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 and I have a quick button. So I'm gonna rebuild that from scratch. Uh, before I do that I want to mention though I actually had made some good use of T Kinter. I am um, this starts and stops my FFmpeg snippet and I can enter a file name and it'll take care of that screencasting for me. So it's come quite in handy. I have also made a Fahrenheit to Celsius converter, which is neat as well. But on with the example. So why don't we create example.py, the py basically telling us that it's a Python file, and I am going to edit it. So first is our shebang line. Hashtag exclamation point slash USR slash bin slash n space Python 2. So basically this uses Python 2. The 2 will force Python 2 because if we just say Python and the user has Python 3 installed, then it will default to Python 3, which is incompatible uh, with Python 2. So tkinter isn't just going to run in Python by default. It's we have to get that feature into the script, or we need to import it. So I'm say from tkinter import asterisk. Uh, that's a bit backwards. Normally it's just import whatever, but just uh, play along with me. Um, we need to draw a win window, so root is equal to tk, it'll just call it root. Then we want to run uh, all of our uh, code above us, so root dot main move and that'll draw everything and get it working. So if we quit now, and we do python example.py, then here we go. Just a window, nothing special about it. By the way, uh, the shebang line is just if you were to run it with an sh or a dot slash. So if I make this executable and I run this, so dot slash, or dot slash example of pi. I think I said it with sh, don't do sh on it. But if I do a dot slash, uh, then it'll run it because the shebang line tells it to use Python to do. Or can you just say Python 2, whatever. Alright, so it had a label on it, so I could just call the message is equal to a label. It's going to be on root, our window root. And the text is going to be this is a label. Then we need to place it on. The window, there are different methods. Methods. The easiest is packing, so message.pack. Uh, actually, let's just run this. So, this is the label.
then we need an entry box, so he's equal to entry root e.pack. And we can type text into here. I'm going to add some buttons. Oops. Uh, and I'll just call it uh, C is equal to, C, uh, changing the label, C is equal to button on root. The text is equal to uh, change label, and we are not going to attach a command to it at this moment. But we are going to place it on the main window. There we go, it doesn't do anything yet. And let's just make a pull button. So, uh, Q is equal to button root. Text is equal to quit. Uh, ah, and we're going to give a command root dot quit and Q dot. And we can now quit. And I'm going to create a user defined function here. So define change label, parentheses, make the function colon, and then uh, a tab, and then selection is equal to e.get. So we're going to retrieve the text from the entry box. And then we are going to configure message, so message.config, and we're going to change the text to our selection, and that's our function, so we go to line 17, and the command is going to be change label, and the label is now changed. And hopefully that works. Yep, the label is now changed. The label has been changed once again. Now obviously this is that isn't necessarily useful, but I did show some useful examples such as a screencast utility. I might expand upon this in the future. Temperature conversion. And you can do some pretty nifty things with it, which is pretty neat. Now, uh, if you're learning Python and you need something to play with like I do, then this is definitely something to look at. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pincast, and stay tuned for